Hello guys, welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about another type of prompt template, which is called as sales email template. Now, what is the purpose of sales email template? Now, as the name indicates, it is used to send a more personalized emails to your customer. It can be your contacts or lead records. If you have to send personalized email, rather than you creating a personalized email for every client of yours, you can use these template to send more personalized email. A sales email template in Salesforce Prompt Builder is a tool that helps you create personalized and targeted emails quickly and efficiently. It allows you to design emails that can be reused for different customers and products, saving you time. For example, let's say you are working as a customer service agent and a case got created into your Salesforce org. Now you want to send an email to the contact associated with that case that, hey, we are working on the case. These are the details of your case and uh, this the, we are working on the resolution of the case. Let's say you have to send that to the contact every time a case is getting created. So what you can do is you can create the sales email template one time. You can see what the email should look like. You can pass in certain important information regarding the case, and then it will create an email for you automatically. Okay, it will create an email for you using those details and will send that email to your contact. Now you can also include specific details from your Salesforce records with the help of merge fields, right? We have seen that just like in email templates, we are using, we can use the same type of merge fields within your template as well. And these fields will act as a placeholder, which will get filled with actual data when the email is generated. So let's go ahead and see how this is actually implemented. So the first thing is, let's assume I'm a customer service agent and uh, I got a case. Now I need to send an email to the contact associated with that case using the details of the case. So I'm going to go back over to my Salesforce here. So I'm going to go to Salesforce. And the first thing is making sure my Einstein for sales is enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and check this one more time, Einstein for sales and uh, we'll click over here and then you can see here turn on sales email is turned on and add email prompt instruction is also enabled make sure all of this is enabled now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we'll go over to prompt builder and uh, we'll click here and we'll click on new prompt template this time i'm going to use a different type of prompt template which is called as sales email and what is the name of the prompt template? I'm going to call it as send email to contact about case. Okay, that is what I'm going to call my prompt template name. Now recipient is going to be, now the recipient can either be a contact or it could be a lead. So I'm going to go ahead and use contact here as the recipient. Now you'll be able to use the details of your contact within your email as well. And I'll show you in a minute. Now related object. Now, what is the related object? We, the related object in this case is case object because we are sending information about the case to our contact. Okay, so case information would be used. So which placeholder fields will be from the case object, okay? So next here, and uh, this is my prompt template workspace. Here I'm going to say, I am a customer service agent and I received a case. I need to send a summary email, summary, personalized summary email. I'm going to say personalized summary email to my customer using following details. Now, which details we're going to use? you can use whatever fields you want from the case object. So the first one is let's say case number, then you have is case subject, then you have is case description, then next one is case comments, let's say, then you have is case priority, and uh, case product, let's say which it is associated with, so all of this information. So I'm going to go ahead and get the case number. So that case number, there is a field available on the case object called as case number. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. There is a field available on the case called subject. So I'm going to go ahead and fetch that field here. So I'm going to go ahead and look for subject. 
then there is a field available for description so I'll go over to the case and look for description here similarly for the comments there is a related list available so I'm going to go ahead and uh, look for comments here so I'm going to go to the comments and let's say there are two types of comments internal comments and case comments so let's say we use this one which is a related list and then you have is a priority so that is a field available so I'm going to go ahead and say priority and then you have is the product on the case object there is a field called product so we'll use that so using this information it is going to create a personalized email so I'm going to go ahead and save it and uh, make sure I activate it okay so we're going to go ahead and activate it also now we are going to send a recipient and related record now let's say I wanted to use the sender name and recipient name so what I'm going to do is here I'm going to say sender of the email and then recipient of the email okay so who is going to be the sender of the email so there is a field available related to the sender and we are going to use the name of this person first name similarly the recipient which is nothing but a contact associated we are going to use that name also the first name of that okay so the recipient so we can fetch the sender information we can fetch the recipient information and whichever object you have mentioned you are you are going to see the fields associated with that object now we need to figure out our case record so let's say we create a case here so I'm going to go ahead and click on new tab make sure you have saved this information save as new version and activate it again and then if you want to choose a different model you can switch from this model to let's say open GPT-4 model here you can do that make sure you save it again and then activate this new one and it will give you a different response so each of these models will give you a slightly different response so if you're using GPT-4 would be better than 3.5 one so you can use different AI models by changing from this list here so now let's go ahead and create a case here so I'm going to go ahead and click on new and we'll go ahead and uh, create a case so let's say this is the case now the case is associated with let's say Kristen Strong the contact is Kristen Strong again type of is, is, uh, is let's say electronic case reason is breakdown and uh, product is this is my product and then description and subject so we're going to say having issues with my iPhone 12 my iPhone has stopped working after an update from yesterday it is giving me a blank screen on the iPhone okay just a description I've added uh, stopped working or we can say the iPhone has stopped working from update from yesterday it's giving a blank screen on the iPhone okay so this is their internal comments if you want to add it and let's go ahead and provide the status priority is high a case origin is phone okay so through phone a case got created we're gonna go ahead and hit save here so now our case has been created and I'm going to use this case number and we'll go ahead and just pass in this case number here so this is going to be the case number and who is the recipient I'm um, let's say we are going to use this Christian strong is the recipient here and we'll preview this so now it will use the information from this case 1029 case number and it will create a email that will be sent over to Christian strong okay we are not sending the email yet but this is just a template that we have created and we can use this template in our contact uh, record to send an email and to construct the email so this is the email that got constructed the subject of the email is case number is this iPhone 12 issues then it has I hope this message finds you well it says the dear Christian so it is using the the name of the customer also the first name I hope this message finds you well I'm writing to you regarding case number this it has come to our attention that you are experiencing difficulties with your iPhone 12 after a recent update resulting in a black screen very good very good written 
we understand the inconvenience this may cause and we want to assure you that you have classified your case as a high priority our technical team is currently investigating the issue with this product at this point there are no additional comments or records associated with your case we will keep you updated on any progress or findings related to your case thank you for your patience and understanding so this looks like a very good personalized email and i don't have to write this email okay so make sure this email template is activated uh, this particular prompt template is activated and give it few minutes before this template is available sometimes it take about one or two minutes now i'm going to go over to the case record and from case we'll go over to the contact to whom you want to send the email right so let's say we go over to this i have populated the email address of the contact and then if you scroll down there is an option for email over here so we can click on that and if you see here it automatically filled up all the information and then there is something called as draft with einstein click on this draft with einstein and there is a use there is an option here to use pre-made instructions so let's say we click on this and automatically you see under the custom there is an option to send email to contact about case now this is the prompt template that we just created okay the prompt template that we just created is now available and i'm going to click on this and what it is going to do is it is asking me for which case so we are going to see this case because the case is associated and I'm going to go ahead and hit continue here and it is going to analyze your request. It is going to look at the case, fetch all the information from the case and create an email. The customer service agent does not have to create the email automatically just with the click of a button. He's able to generate the email using that sales email prompt template. It picks up the name of the customer. I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to you regarding case number this. We understand that you're having issues with the same email that we saw. And then it has the customer service name as well. The sender's name also will help you keep you updated on the progress of the case. So this is a good email. Now you can ask it to revise the email or you can undo it. You can do whatever you want here. There is an option to revise. But if you like it, you click on done here and then there's an option to send it so that email would be sent over to the customer so this is how you can use these sales email template to automatically generate emails for you very quickly this is a personalized email similarly if you go over to a different case let's say we go over to a different case here and if the customer service agent goes over to let's say this particular case and will go over to this contact again and there is an option to email here and uh, we will s use the same draft with Einstein use the pre-made instructions this is what we're going to choose you can use a different case here so the same let's say that same customer created multiple cases you can send an email related to that case just within seconds using your pre-built template okay it is kind of similar to uh, email template where you are create you have, you have written a workflow which gets sent whenever a case gets created that is the that is a way of generating email within salesforce here what you're doing is a customer service agent has to send a more personalized email using and let's say he doesn't have to send it for every case he wanted to only send it for whenever he feels like it and rather than creating email himself and writing that email which is going to take time he has to look at case details he has to look at case comments everything and he has to create a summary email now if he doesn't have the time or instead of him doing it all from by himself this tool will help him to f create that email within seconds and he can send that email to the customer so this is the power of sales email template that you can create and the customer service agent can send email within salesforce using this einstein and can draft the email and he can also update the email if let's say certain information is not accurate he can update that email as well before sending it to the customer so this is what is the meaning of sales email prompt templates i hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial i'm going to see you in the next video thank you